All right, Joel Oaks here with Hagster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today I'm bringing you a very nice addition to our inventory, this being a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro RS SS car here. So as you can see here, beautiful black car. Again, everybody just about out there loves the black Camaros here. Um, so we've got all black, nice, shiny, smooth exterior on this car. We've got the white bumblebee nose stripe here on the front of it too. Um, along with all that, we've got all of the SS, uh, you know, um, trademark, you know, things on this car. We've got the, the steel SS hood. We've got uh, all of the SS badging on this car uh, from the front grille all the way clear to the back with that SS gas cap. Um, so again, we're just going to kind of go through everything as we walk down the side of it here. Just point out to you exactly what we see here and uh, go from there. So again, as I always like to do, I like to look down the side of the car and let you folks know out there how nice and straight these cars are. And I can tell you, this car here, again, black is one of those colors. It's hard to hide any, imperf any imperfections on the cars. So what I'm doing here is looking at the fender uh, to door alignment and then door to quarter panel alignment on the car when I look down the side. I can let you know that our elevations look to be dead on on this car. It does not wave down the side. It's nice and straight the whole way down. Um, now you can also see uh, all of our bright work on this car is in excellent condition. Uh, everything from the uh, side marker bezels on this thing and lenses, those are nice. Uh, the wheel lip moldings, obviously you can see that those are the bright wheel lip moldings. Those are in excellent shape, all four corners. And then we also have that rocker panel molding down at the bottom. All very nice and straight the whole way down. You do not see any deviations in that whatsoever. Nice and straight. Uh, we also have our drip rail moldings here. Bright work. Those are nice and straight. Got the corner pieces here. They look good. Even the bright work along the top edge of the door here. Sometimes you'll see a little, you know, little dimple or something in them. Not on this car. This car looks great. Uh, we've got mirror here on the driver's side. Chrome mirror. That finish is in excellent condition. There's no pitting whatsoever on the either the mounting arm or the mirror head itself. So all of that looks to be good. In uh, combination with all the SS emblems and badging on this car, we've got a 350 emblem up here on the front fender. Um, and we'll discuss the engine here a little bit later on. But we do have an aftermarket motor here. Super nice running engine here. We'll go over that here also, like I said, a little later. We got the Camaro script here and the SS front fender badging there as well. All in excellent condition there too. As far as our doors go, you can take a look at our gaps here on the front side. As well as back on the back side of the door, you can tell that that door has been adjusted in the opening very well. Our gaps are very uniform front to back. And like I said, the elevations here with our front fender, as well as back there with our quarter panel, are dead on on this car and look to be great. Uh, let's move back here to the door. I'm going to open our door up just real briefly here. Take a quick peek on the inside here. You can see our black exterior follows its way into the inside of our car here. We've got the rubber bump stops both on the top as well as the bottom down here. All of our seals and weather stripping that go around the door, around the bottom, even our seals up here at the top side here for our window to go up against, those are in excellent condition. There's no cracks, no tears, no chunks taken out of anything, all intact and all in good condition there. Our door sill plates look great. Now as far as the interior, quickly here, we've got an all black interior. We do have aftermarket bucket seats in here. They're kind of a racing style seat. They've got the bolsters on the side to make them more comfortable headrests. And the upholstery on the, both the front and the rear seats are all matching. So everything looks just like it belongs in here. Factory dash, factory instrumentation, uh, all of that stuff. We will take a look at that though a little bit later on. Now as far as uh, body work and so forth, I like to look up through these rain gutters here too and take a look, see if I see any cracks in the paint or anything like that. And as I do look at that, I can tell you that there are no cracks in the paint. They look good through the whole entire rain gutter all the way around. And like I said, those 
Uh, those drip rail moldings are in great shape. As we come back here now to the rear of the car, the corner panel, again, super straight as far as the body and paint goes back here. Got our wheel lip moldings. Now, wheels and tires on this car. Uh, we've got all American Racing polished aluminum wheels. They're 17 inch wheels. Tires are all matching too. They're Kumo Extra tires. Um, the sizes on those, and hopefully I don't get this wrong, but I believe the fronts are a 245-45ZR17. On the backs, these are a 275-40ZR17. Again, like I said, all matching tread, matching name brand, so everything looks good here. And again, as I mentioned before, our side marker bezels there for our lights look in excellent condition, no pitting at all. The actual lens covers on them, those are in excellent shape too. You can also see that we have the rear trunk spoiler on this car. All right, now that we're around the back side here of our 68 Camaro RS SS, uh, we'll take a look at everything back here. We'll first start here with our window and the trim work around it. You can see this bright work around our window is in excellent shape, nicely polished up, no dents or dings in it, no scratches in it either. Really nice uh, trim work back here. Far as the rear glass, super clean also. It looks to be a tinted glass there. There's no, no scratches, no chips, especially no cracks in this uh, rear glass. It looks good back here. Now as far as the panels go back here, I know sometimes you'll see guys that will, uh, with these panels here, the, uh, the center panel here in combination with your uh, quarters, um, sometimes they'll fill these in up here, but again, don't typically like to see that because again, they're using filler in there. Sometimes that can shrink and cause uh, cracks and so forth in the paint. So no filler in here. You can see where all the separation in the panels should be as, it, you know, again, from the factory, that's how it would have been. So again, that looks all nice here. As far as our trunk lid back here, we can look at our gaps the whole way around, side, side, and even across the back here. And we can see that those are very uniform the whole way around. So that trunk lid's been adjusted very well on this car and sits there real nice. Like I said, we got that uh, trunk spoiler here mounted up nice. It's in excellent shape. The paint on that is great, nice and smooth again. Uh, a lot of times on these plastic parts too, you'll get some cracks and so forth. But again, paint on this car probably wasn't done too awfully long ago uh, as far as whenever they redid the car. So everything looks great. The clear, everything looks excellent on this thing. As far as the tail panel goes, again, just all black. We've got our tail lights back here, the bezels on our tail lights. You can see how nice and shiny those are. The black inside here, that's in excellent shape too. You don't see any of that worn off at all. Our SS gas cap looks to be in good shape. Chrome rear bumper here as well. That's nicely polished up. And this has the correct RS rear lower balance on it too. So down below you'll notice that we've got the backup lights cut in down there just as they should be. These are the correct tail light lenses too, all red right across the back here whenever you have the backup lights down below like they are. We'll go ahead and open our trunk lid up now, take a look inside. First you can hear that the trunk latch works, so that's always good. As far as our trunk seal here, you can see this looks brand new in here, comes together right here in the center, there's no gaps. No rips, no tears in this, nice and soft, so it's going to seal up really nice for you here. Uh, as far as our trunk, the correct black and aqua trunk spatter paint in here. Trunk floor, all good and solid, one piece. Uh, it's got the drain plugs installed in it there also. And then back here as well, this car has a complete Alpine stereo system in it all the way from the head unit to the speakers and then back here you have an Alpine amp also back here uh, to power everything that will go over once we get to the interior there but everything's nice and dry back here looks good so we're going to go ahead close this up now and then we're going to go ahead to the other side of the car all right so now that we're over here now on the passenger side of our 68 RSSS Camaro we're just going to quickly walk up this side because again, it's just a lot of rehashing what we already went over. So again, 
quarters, door, fender, all in alignment here look good. Again, we've got all the bright work, all the trim, the wheel lip moldings, the drip rail moldings, the lower body or the, the uh, rocker moldings down here, and of course the bright work along the top side of the door here. Uh, again, everything you can see very super straight, nicely polished up. Again, no dings or anything whatsoever. Again, our marker lights, the bezels around all of our lights are in excellent shape, look to be all new. We've already gone over wheels and tires. You can just kind of give a quick glimpse of uh, you know, what they look like even on this side, but everything's polished up real nice. We can check out our door gaps on this side, of course, side to side. This may be different, but again, on this car, it looks good. We've got our rear gap as well as our front gap up there, very uniform side to side, front to back. Uh, in and out, even our elevations, no deviations between the quarters and the front fenders with the door in relation whatsoever. Again, looking up at our rain gutters here too. Again, this side looks just as good as what that other side does. So again, there's no cracks in the paint up through that rain gutter. Everything looks good. As we do with the other side, we're just going to pop our door open here. Look real quick. Bump stops on both the top and the bottom. We've got our door seal here, the whole way around looks good. Door panels, upholstery, carpeting, dash, everything looks great on this car. So again, we'll come back here a little later and just take a closer look at the inside. But for right now, you know that, that gives you the overall picture of it. Let's go up to our front fender here. You can see we've got the antenna mounted up on top like it should be. Camaro script emblem and SS emblems here on the back side of the front fender. Those look to be brand new. They look great. Uh, and again, the fender, the, the body uh, itself, nice and straight the whole way down the side. Again, there's 350 emblems up front here too. And that's pretty much our walkthrough of the passenger side. All right, now finally we've made it back to the front end of our vehicle here. So again, first and foremost, you're obviously going to notice that it's got the RS front end on it. It's got that hideaway grill, you know, the, the hideaway lights there and the all black grill with the SS emblems right here in the center. Obviously the chrome front bumper. And then down below, we've got the black front air dam down there also to complete the look. Uh, as far as our hood goes, again, I've already mentioned all steel SS hood here. You can see the gaps the whole way around on this thing, and you can see the fit and finish on it too. Again, like I said, black is just so hard to hide any imperfections. you got to be almost near perfect to make things look good. So you can see that this car looks really, really good. Even your uh, uh, the grill work up here, the louvers, or what they considered back in the day, they called them the ice cube trays. Those things are in excellent shape too. No pitting or no imperfections in the, the chrome around those either. So everything looks great. So we're going to go ahead and open our hood up now and then we'll talk a little bit about what we have in here for an engine. Um, first, you know, we've got the hood insulation here. It's all tacked up as it should be, all intact also. There's no tears or anything in it. So again, that looks good. And if you can look back there, very rare, but the hood light, the under hood light, I should say, it even works back there. So as far as what we have for an engine in here, this is a GM crate motor. Uh, it's, a, it's a later model crate motor. Um, I believe uh, when we look the numbers up on this, it's uh, obviously it's a 350 block. I believe it's the 385 uh, fast burn motor. Um, so again, you've got the GM Performance aluminum heads on this car. Um, it's got a Holley carburetor on it, dual feed four barrel. I believe 770 CFM is what that comes out to on there. Um, obviously the chrome intake, uh, or chrome air cleaner I mean. We've got a GM Performance aluminum intake on here as well. And then you'll notice it's got the stock appearing uh, center bolt Vortec head style valve covers on it. Along with that, it's got the breather and the PCB valve on it too. Now you'll notice up top here, we do have aftermarket AC air conditioning here. Uh, when we go inside, you'll see that we've got the vintage air um, AC controls in there. So again, this is all plumbed up. You can see all the hoses here, all done up real nice underneath the hood here as well. 
Uh, as far as headers go on this thing, we've got ceramic long tube headers on this, dual exhaust all the way out the back with tailpipes, um, all the correct stuff for the car. They've upgraded the ignition as well on this. We've got an HEI distributor in here with all GM Performance plug wires also. Um, so everything is, is all matched up and is done up very nice under the hood. This particular car, we've got power brakes on it and they are all four wheel disc brakes on this car. So the, the, uh, the brake system upgraded to four wheel discs. Power steering as well on this car. We've got tubular uh, upper A-arms on the car also that I can see from here. So again, everything's been matched up really nice on this car uh, just to make it handle and run really, really good. Um, made it up to this motor here for a transmission. Got a Tremec TKO 5-speed transmission in here. We also have a GM 12-bolt rear on this car as well for the complete driveline. Uh, so again, everything's just super, super well done on this car. Um, kind of like a cross between almost like a pro touring or a resto mod style car. Um, you know, you could take it a little bit further even, but again, everything that's done here is an excellent base. So again, you're going to be very pleased with this car. So we're going to go ahead and close this hood up now. All right, now that we're inside of our 68 Camaro RS SS, now we can look at how nice this interior is. Of course, starting all the way out at the door panels, full length door panels and you can see how nice those are again most of the stuff that's in this car looks to be all new stuff so I wouldn't doubt that those door panels are new again all of the trim the bright work on them that's all in excellent shape all nice and straight and all intact so again looks good armrests again look great there's no cracks in those either as far as the dash goes factory appearing dash We've got the padded dash up top here, which again is an excellent shape. There's no cracks in that whatsoever. Uh, our dash panel itself, pretty much stock appearing. We've got the factory instrumentation in here as well. So you've got your uh, Speedo over there, and then you have the TikTok tack in there as well, which is your combination clock and tachometer, as these cars would have come with from the factory. Uh, wood grain steering wheel, so that looks in excellent shape. We've got the factory manual center console in here. Now, as I stated before, just outside a little bit ago, we've got the Tremec TKO 5-speed transmission here. So we do have a manual center console. We've got a Hurst shifter here, and we have the correct 5-speed shifter ball on top of that. So, again, everything's all matched up very well in here. Along with our uh, dash gauges, we do have the factory instrumentation down here on the center console as well. So we've got our battery gauge and our temperature gauge. We also have a fuel gauge and the oil pressure gauge down here as well. As I mentioned before, uh, heater controls, the heat and AC controls, they appear to be the factory looking ones, uh, but if you look closely, you can see the Vintage Air name brand on them. So again, they've elected to keep it looking factory appearing but with the vintage air new controls in here to work everything. Um, the factory vents are here too, so you'll see the one right in the center, as well as your two outer ones here as well. So everything looks good and not out of place there. As far as stereo goes, um, obviously there's been an upgrade with this system in here. Um, all Alpine, uh, so you've got good name brand components. It's going to sound great. You've got an Alpine AM FM, looks to be an mp3 style player here no cds just an mp3 in combination with that we do have speakers down in the kick panels um, looks like we've got uh, the tweeters up here in the dash and then we also have some mid-range speakers as well as a sub back in the rear package tray and again we've already seen the alpine amp that's mounted in the trunk um, now, as far as seats go in this car, we do have some aftermarket bucket seats up front here. You can see they're kind of like a racing style seat. Um, again, nicely padded up. These are Pro Car Scat seats. So you can see the upholstery on these. The back upholstery looks exactly the same as the front, so they've mated that up well too. As far as the headliner goes, it's all intact. There are no holes, rips, or sags in any of it. Looks great. Got all the, the uh, roof bows in it and tied up nice and tight. 
sail panels are in excellent condition on this car too. Nice and flat and put in like they should be in the back. You can see we've got seat belts, front and rear, retractable ones that come up over your shoulder here. Everything in excellent shape. They've done a good job on this car. Carpeting looks to be great also. All black, not faded. No rips or tears in any of the carpeting either. So again, everything on the interior of this car looks just as well as the rest of the uh, outside as well as the underside of this car. So um, with that, I mean, that's pretty much it uh, for the inside of our car. We're going to go ahead now, uh, get this on the lift so that you can see the underside. And then always we fire that engine up so you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, so again, you got your crate motor out, outside, you got the aftermarket Tremec 5 speed here, the 12 bolt rear to go along with a black 68 RS SS Camaro. Uh, it's a real, real nice package for somebody to get into. All right, here we are now. We've got our 68 Camaro SS RS here up on the lift. We're going to take a look at this underside and see exactly what we have here. But as you can see on first glance, we have a real nice car here from top to bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead up front here. Let's start up here and talk about you know the framework that we see here and some of the suspension and steering components. So obviously, first and foremost on our frame, you've got your cross member here. That's the most important part here. Uh, you can see it's pretty straight here across the, the bottom of that cross member. So you can tell it hasn't been run over anything or dented or dinged up. Um, all of the factory control arms, as far as lower ones anyways, those are remain in, in location here for this car. Um, those are all in excellent condition. We've got a front sway bar on this car that connects both sides. So it's going to help it in the corners connect both front tires together and get that front end down lower to the ground in the corners and help it corner. Um, as far as steering goes, got your drag link here. It's in good shape. Your tie rods here. Now these have, these must be Hotchkiss tie rods. They've got the Hotchkiss adjusters on them. So again, that's going to make uh, any kind of fine tuning of your steering up front, your, uh, your toe in or your toe out. Um, that makes things easy. You just loosen up your little jam nuts here on either side. Grab hold of this. Probably by hand you could do it if you have it off the ground. Or if you're on the ground, just throw a wrench on it and turn this right in the center. And it's going to adjust your toe out or toe in, whichever you need um, for on this car. As far as front suspension goes, uh, Bilstein shocks up front. We also have those on the back, but we'll get to those when we get there. So Bilstein shocks, which again, everybody kind of knows Bilstein. They're a real good shock absorber. Uh, again, all of your sway bar end bushings, the end links and everything, those are in good shape. Braking components on the front. All disc brakes around this car, but we, it's all GM stuff. So again, nothing out of the ordinary. We can go to our you know, local auto parts store and buy any of the parts that you would need for this car up front. You can get them right there. So again, everything's nicely done up front. Springs even up front look to be all new. All the paint or powder coating is all present on those so they look good too. Um, as we work our way, let's just look at the engine here. Um, we can see that we have, uh, again, as we talked about before, we've got a GM crate motor here. Um, we see our oil pan hanging down here. Now this is uh, just your standard, you know, five quart oil pan. Uh, in excellent shape though. There's no dents or dinks, so you know this has never been run into anything. The paint looks to be flawless on this oil pan too, and it's from the factory, GM paint. Uh, we've got aluminum bell housing here. We've got our Tremec TKO 5-speed transmission. We've got a tubular transmission cross member here also. New bolts in here and your bushing back here for the tail shaft mount. That is in excellent shape. The other thing obviously that you can see while we're under here is the dual exhaust. Uh, this is ceramic coated long tube headers from the engine into a dual MagnaFlow exhaust. Now you all have heard of MagnaFlow. 
Um, very good exhaust, very excellent sounding exhaust too. You can see the nice mandrel bends, you got the X pipe right here, and as far as all of your muffler clamps and your pipe clamps underneath here, you've got the very nice sleeve style clamps that bolt everything together. So if you ever wanted to take it down, it's very easy to do so. Just take a couple of bolts loose and you can take this whole exhaust system loose on this car. Again, dual MagnaFlow mufflers back here. You can see how nice those things look. And then of course, tailpipes that go up over top the rear end. And they have the tailpipes that exit between the leaf springs back here and the quarter panels. And they have those slash cut across the bottom so that they don't stick out from underneath the car. They're tucked up in real nice. Uh, as far as the rest of the drive line, of course, you got your drive shaft here. It is balanced. I can see the weights on it there, so that's going to make your, your drive line uh, run real nice and true. Um, GM 12 bolt rear on this car, and it has a real nice aluminum Moser diff cover uh, on the back side here, too, so it gives it a real nice look. You can see how nicely painted up the axle tubes in the center section all are on this car. Uh, the multi-leaf rear suspension, as I said before, the Bilstein shocks also on the back side here too. So everything driveline, braking, steering, suspension, there's been no, you know, all the attention has been paid to this car, I can tell you that. Um, you can also see frame connectors here. These are Hotchkiss frame connectors and they've done an excellent job at putting those in. They've got them bolted in and it looks like they've got them tacked in also. So you've got, you know, you, you know all lines there all tied up to. Uh, emergency brake cables, those are all intact. Looks all new too underneath here. So all of your cables, the front cable, the intermediates, and then your cables going all the way back to your rear brakes which again are disc brakes, four wheel disc brakes on this car. So again, all of that stuff's done nice. Your frame rails are in excellent condition. Good and square, nice and straight here. The, uh, your bushings here, your body mount bushings, those are all in great shape too. They're not squashed out in any way. Uh, there's lots there, so again, everything's sitting on her the way it should. And the floors on this car, the floors you couldn't ask for any better. You can see that it's all the correct uh, floor pans here. You've got all the lines and all of your floor pans here. Uh, there's no patching that I can see on this car. Um, only just right up inside of the trans tunnel. But of course, that's because they went ahead and put that Tremec 5-speed transmission in there. So you're going to have a little bit of that whenever you do something like that. But as far as the full floors go, those are in excellent shape. I look back here at the back behind the fuel tank too. That's all in good shape, including the fuel tank. And you can see everything's got just a real light skim coating of undercoating on it under here for protection. Again, nothing wrong with that. We just don't like cars that come in that have, you know, just, you know, uh, you know, undercoating hanging from it. A little skin coat is good and that's what this car has on it. You can see just ever so slight texture to it. Otherwise just all painted black underneath here so that you can see how nice all the condition of the metal is.